So good. And welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. So another week of work for me is done. Uh, the weekend's here and I'm anxious to get out into my garden and do some work, do some harvesting. The, all my uh, leafy green lettuces are coming along really good. I'm gonna show you how I harvest my uh, leafy greens using the cut and come again type method. And we will go inside and get them washed up and I'll show you how I store them. And maybe we'll even get to uh, put together a, a delicious salad. So you can see here that the uh, grass is turning brown. It is so dry here now and we haven't had much rain. The weatherman is predicting another heat wave up into the uh, low to high 90s, which is in um, Canada here. Those are uh, mid 30s, 30 degrees Celsius. And I'm sure for those who live south and in the warmer growing zones, that doesn't seem to be a very, a real heat wave in um, compared to what some of you may get. But here on the prairies, Anytime it gets into the 30s, it is hot and dry and uh, not very comfortable. So things like the tomatoes and cucumbers and um, my peppers, they're a long ways yet from uh, being ready to harvest. So at this time of year in uh, my growing zone, we just enjoy harvesting the cool weather crops such as the um, romaines and spinach and I have some butter crunch lettuce here I got some arugula that's still at the very uh, baby leaf stage but I might harvest a bit of it tonight for my salad and I got some kale coming along really good here that I kind of planted up in between my tomatoes so we're gonna harvest some of that maybe some radishes and some uh, trim down some green onions and uh, put together a really nice salad for tonight. So I have been picking a lot of spinach already here and um, I'm just worried with this heat coming that it's going to um, bolt and go to seed. So I'm gonna try and keep harvesting as long as I can. So basically I'm just looking at the leaves here and pinching off the big ones harvesting them now and as you can see there's a lot of growth little ones coming along here so that's simply how you do a cut and come again method just keep pinching off the big ones and let the little ones fill out in the next few days you'll have another harvest of spinach ready to go so this here is my romaine lettuce and um, so you can see I kind of Kind of overseeded a little too heavy on one side of my container or else the seeds kind of got washed around and in the watering process but um, there's lots of nice little heads of lettuce forming here and rather than you know picking the whole head I just pinch off the big leaves just like the spinach so you can see here on one little plant there's quite a bunch of leaves so I rather than harvesting the whole head I will just pinch off the big leaves around the outer edge and just leave leave the plant and let these little guys keep growing you can do that to all these plants and still end up with a good harvest of of lettuce the butter crunch lettuce got some big leaves here again some beautiful lettuce there I'm just gonna pick and choose different leaves here pinch them off let them to keep growing so there we got a really nice bowl full of romaine spinach butter crunch and I'm just going to add some of my kale and some arugula so 
So the arugula is still pretty small, but I'm just going to pick a few of these leaves because I like to have that peppery uh, taste of the arugula in my salads. This is uh, the rocket arugula, I believe. I grew this last year, uh, let it go to seed and harvest all the seeds from it. And that's what these are. I also use those seeds in my indoor growing all winter to grow uh, my indoor uh, arugula. So I'm hoping this year again, I can keep collecting seeds from the same plant here and use them again. I'm just amazed at how fast this kale grew. I'm sure I only planted it less than two weeks ago here. I had forgotten to, to dedicate a container just to kale. So I decided just to throw some of the seed right into uh, this container with these uh, tiny tims just because I didn't think it would take up too much space. So I'm going to just break off some of these nice little leaves and add them to my my greens here. And if these get out of control and I just can't keep up with eating them, I can always freeze these. Kale's great to freeze and add to your smoothies. There you have it. There's a beautiful bowl of fresh greens from my garden. I'm going to use it in a salad tonight for my supper and hopefully have a bit extra that I can store in the fridge to uh, use up over the next couple days. So these are my red and my yellow uh, globe onions here. And I'm going to just give them a little trim. So if you cut, trim down the um, tops of your onions, that will help the uh, the energy go more into the bulbs and hopefully have a bigger um, bulb onion at the end of the season. So I'm just going to trim off a few of these and uh, we'll take them also and wash them and we can chop them up into our salads or use them maybe for our uh, omelets tomorrow. So a lot like a green onion. Just chop them up and eat them raw or cook them. So all the onions have gotten a bit of a haircut here today and we've got some nice greens here to take in the house and eat up. So I also have um, a small little patch of garlic here that I planted. These are bulbs that I planted last fall and I'm just noticing that I do have a couple uh, scapes forming here and curling on these plants. So you can see there's one there. Once they start to curl over like that, that's when you can harvest them and they are great for cooking and maybe chopping up a little bit into my salad as well or put into my salad dressing so they smell amazing so by cutting off these scapes here you prevent it from going to seed this is where the seeds would form in the in the garlic plant and then uh, it puts more energy into the bulb and by mid-July and July, we should have a nice uh, harvest of garlic bulbs. So the first thing you want to do is fill your sink with some cool water. I put a little splash of vinegar in here just to um, make sure you get it good and clean and there's no little buggies or anything on there. Dump her all in. Just swish it around, let it soak for a couple minutes. So you can either just lay it out on a towel to dry like I'm going to do here. I probably will spin it in a salad spinner as well. So after it's washed you can just lay it out on a towel. I just have a paper towel on a, a drying mat here or you can use towels. Um, probably best if you have a salad spinner to really get all the, 
the water off of this these leaves especially if you plan on storing these in the fridge you want to make sure that all these leaves are absolutely dry they're so uh, tender they will wilt very quickly if they have any moisture on them So this batch of spinach is going to go into my spinach feta chicken that I'm planning to make this weekend. So I'm just going to, after spinning it and getting it good and dry, wrap it up in a paper towel like this, store it in a container, put it in the fridge and it should stay nice and crisp for the next few days. So there is my delicious garden salad all ready to eat. It has kale, spinach, romaine, butter crunch, a few uh, pieces of radish, I only had one left, and also chopped up a few of my um, onion greens and a little bit of my garlic scape. So should be delicious. So you can add your favorite dressing at this time, of course. I'm just going to give it a very light splash of some extra virgin olive oil. Not too much. And also some balsamic vinegar. Very simple. And of course, don't forget some fresh ground pepper. So you can just go ahead and eat it like this. Uh, tonight I'm going to make this into a real meal and add some tuna salad, which is something that I just had in the fridge today. You can add your you know, chicken salad, egg salad, um, any kind of protein just to kind of uh, make it into a real hearty meal. And you can always add a little bit of paprika. This is some that I... Um, had made from my paprika peppers that I grew this winter and dried and ground into my own paprika spice. This is going to be delicious. So I hope you enjoyed my video on how to use the cut and come again method on your lettuces to help keep them uh, producing throughout the summer and also how you can wash and store your lettuces in the fridge so that you have a good supply of lettuces for several days to enjoy. I hope that you will please hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to stay tuned for the next video coming up on my channel. Thanks for watching. Mmm, so good. 
So good. Mm-hmm.